The people responsible for security at the Seattle-Tacoma Airport got together today to talk about the breach in security over the weekend and how to prevent it from happening again. An airline employee exposed easily, easily stole a commercial aircraft and took it on a deadly flight. Here's Jamie Yukas. For more than an hour, the stolen plane soared and flipped in the skies above Seattle. And controllers on the ground had no idea who they were dealing with. A possible terrorist or this? Just a broken guy. Got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it until now. Richard Russell worked for Horizon Air as a baggage and cargo handler at SeaTac, which has some of the nation's most stringent security procedures for ground personnel. Authorities are still at a loss to explain why he suddenly seized control of an empty 76-seat commuter plane. He used a tow tractor to turn the turboprop aircraft 180 degrees toward the runway, then climbed aboard. Without pilot training, he got behind the controls and positioned the plane for an unauthorized takeoff. Right now he's just flying around, and uh, he just needs some help controlling his aircraft. Nah, I, mean, I don't need that much help. I've played some video games before. Last year, Congress passed a law mandating tougher screening standards for all airport employees. Ground workers in Seattle undergo criminal background checks, go through metal detectors, have their bags screened, and their fingerprints scanned to verify their identity. But there are no psychological screenings. Today, CBS News transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve spoke with TSA Administrator David Pekoski. Can you screen for things like mental health in an effective way? With regard to mental health, I mean, we do do, do screening uh, in terms of background checking for all airport workers. And one of the things that we emphasize, if you see something, say something, also applies for insider threats. People are calling this a one in a million chance that this would happen. Did you ever plan for something like this? I've asked the question point blank. Have we ever seen this experience? And I think this is really, truly one in a million experience. That doesn't mean we can't learn from it. We learned today that security has been stepped up here at the airport since the incident took place. Jeff, the black boxes were also recovered. They should show if the plane stalled or if it was deliberately put into the ground. Still hard to believe that happened. Jamie Yukas, thank you.